What's up guys, it's MG Legends and we're back with another banger of a game series. So, as you can see, this is the Walking Dead game. Uh, this game came out back in April of 2012. So, I probably would have been like around 13, 14 at the time. I actually played this game then, but I actually never finished it. I played the first episode, but as you can know, as a poor child, um, I could not afford the other chapters of the game. So I actually never played I only played the first one where, um, as you can, I'm, a lot of people know, but I actually won't spoil it just in case you guys have not played this game. But there is five chapters to this, and there's a special episode to this version that I actually uh, just got. I think this game you can get on Game Pass, so if you guys want to play it yourselves after watching me play it, or if you just want to play it yourselves without watching me, or if you want to play it and watch it after, this game is on Game Pass, or I think it's on the cloud, which I think you can still get it for free. Not 100% sure. But, um, yeah, as I was saying before, I was not able to play all the chapters. The only chapter that I ever played was the first one, which is Episode 1, A New Day, and I really couldn't play after that. So I have really no idea what I'm expecting because I've never finished this game. I've watched some gameplay on it, but that was years ago, back in literally like 2012 when the game was like really big and like people were like recording out for content and stuff. But so let's actually get into this and uh, let's see how I do. The game series adapts to the choices you make. Oh no! So this is like Man of Medan. Look at me like that. <laughs> well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough? We got what looks like a 1091E here, P3X, 285. All cars have to keep on the lookout. I think this is the remastered here. version, too. I'm not really sure. I, I honestly can't really tell if it is or not, but it is one of the new versions of the game. But it looks really good, even though it's really not that good, I guess. But it still looks pretty decent for. I followed your case a little bit. Came from 2012. Bacon boy and all. So you've got an opinion. You've got an opinion then. Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you kill. Kind of hear what they're saying on the radio. I got a nephew up at UGA. <laughs> You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? He feels guilty about something. I got much choice? Sure don't. Huh? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Ah, I won't say fuck you. Could be I did. <sighs> Why didn't you say anything? Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. 
You're too old to be doing all that crazy stuff, bro. So, let's keep doing... I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for incoming to one... Hey, don't turn off the radio. And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops. Having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, oh. stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Get this the other time. Oh, shit. Hit the brakes! Oh, ah! Oh! Oh, why was I not in the other Why was I not in like a seat belt or something, bro? What the fuck? Where was my seat belt, coach? Why is there so much blood in the back seat? What did I do? I should be... I should have a broken bone after that or something. Shit. I think actually police cars have like roll cages though for stuff like that. Oh, shit. I am sore. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck, my leg. Oh, I cut my leg open. That's not good. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey, officer. Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Okay. Oh, I can actually break this? Aren't these like bulletproof windows or something? I'm gonna look around. I can't really look around. Okay, get out. Let's go. I need to drag myself out that window. Alright, I'm moving. I'm moving. Ah! Okay, yeah. Why am I acting like this is me? Oh, that looks like it hurt. He had like had a fucking dolphin dive out that shit. Like a... Like Black Ops 2. Oh! Lord have mercy. I want to pick up the shotgun. If I'm able to. Looks empty. What do you mean it looks empty? I didn't hear any fucking gunshots. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. What is that? Oh, it's a shotgun shell. Okay, hold on. You got it, Lee. Come on. Ow. All right. Now with the shotgun. Put it in the bullet. Put the bullet in. Come on. <laughs> Looks empty. Put the shotgun bullet in. What are you doing? It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. Officer? Uh, are you okay? Shit. Oh. No. No. Uh. <laughs> Now he's gonna grab my leg, watch. It'd be some fucked up shit. Oh. 
officer. Oh, fuck, that was really fast. Holy shit! What in the hell? What's wrong with you, bro? Get away from me! Grab the shotgun, grab the shotgun, grab the shotgun. Put the bullet in. Get the bullet in. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Get the shot, get the bullet, get the bullet. Alright, put it in, put it in, come on. Don't make me do this! Oh shit! No, okay, no, it's dead. It's dead. Man, it's tough. The skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Can I get stand up or anything? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Hello? What do you mean? Yo! 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 How are they already that rotted? It just started- Ow! It just started today, didn't it? Get up! Probably a police related shooting, as usual. But at, at, under the circumstances, I can understand. Hello? Anybody? Hey, they have a pool. Oh man, I am. Alright, I'm gonna go inside this house to see if I can find any healing supplies for my leg. Cause like either I gotta wrap this up. I wonder if anybody's home. I mean, I don't think anyone's home, buddy. But we'll see. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Try open the door. No, it's locked. Oh no, it's not. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? I think that's gonna help, buddy. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Oh, shit. These people might need more help than I do. It's a coloring book, so they have a kid. Looks like she was in the middle. He or she was in the middle of drawing when something happened. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, fuck! Ah. I thought it was dry. Oh. Cup of water. I am thirsty. <sighs> Is there anything in here? No, it's empty. What about here? It's a walkie talkie. I'll take it. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. What's, what is that? Let me check. Hmm. The Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Okay. What's that beeping? I think this is where we meet Clem. I know... 
Cause like I said, I have played this game before. I just haven't. Is that real fruit? God damn it! It's fake. Damn. I'm hungry, bro. Maybe there's something on there. There are three new messages. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 651 AM. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. She's in the treehouse, I remember. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Well, what's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? We know where they are, but... They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh! Where did you come from? Oh! Oh! Damn, bro! Damn, that... Ah! Back up! Back the fuck up! Oh! Oh! Take that! And take that! And another one! For good measure! We did good. We did good. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. I like how he, like, takes the initiative right away. Like, what a good what guy. What should we do now? I think look for help we before We need to dark. find help before it gets dark. Yeah. It's not safe at night. Yeah, you want to be able to see them. 
maybe hear them, but... Let's go. Stay close to me. Do I have my hammer still? My handy dandy hammer? They do have a shed. Is there like anything useful in the shed that we can get? Like I know it might not be a gun, but it could be like, you know, Healy, like anything like a med kit or in there or something. Alright, they don't want us to go over there. Uh, uh, oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close. Okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chop. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I mean, I chose that answer quick, so it shouldn't be too... What do you want to do? I... Your monsters come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, go, push. Push! Yes, Clem, get in here! Let's go! Let's go! Right, let's get out of here! Were any of those guys neighbors, too? My guy said, fuck the roads. <laughs> Is Herschel and Maggie gonna be here? Yes, I've seen the show. Half the world has. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well... Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. 
Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. I think I need stitches. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we, uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. I feel like that cut needed stitches hot, more than just a bandage. Go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? Top it off. We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. My man's voice is so deep. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh, poor girl. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that? Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, 
gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. To the roar. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, so I am walking a little bit better. I'm gonna talk to Kenny though, see what he needs. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. That's good. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I mean... See you. I guess. But, like, that... I did... I, yeah, I guess I showed an interest in the family. Seems like those two are getting along. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh, ran into a tree. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I feel like inviting people in. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alright, I guess we're heading out to the barn. See you later, Duke. Can I get past this stuff, please? Oh, damn, I'm right at the barn, okay. Uh, 
how'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to. Yes. I apologize if you can Where hear the birds. I can't now? do anything about those Parents, annoying ass things. Wife, girlfriend. Unless those are actually in the game. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! I mean, you got that ride to make it if you want it. To be fair, it's just like uh, saving Kenny's son is probably like what, what would I know? It's just like save your son, but I feel like I would save the kid even if it was my own son first. No. <laughs> well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas.
What? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Oh, come Over on. My dead body. It's a shit kid. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head. Bruh. Hey, stop him. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Kick his ass. Dad. It's just a boy. Oh, there's an option. Kick it's his ass. Oh my god, I'm choosing it. Heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. Frozen. But right Frick. now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Bro. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Ah! Oh, shit! Jesus! Lee, get up! Oh my god, button matches. I'm sorry if I'm really loud. You okay? Just Holy great, shit. Thanks. I think I made it point uh, uh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in, shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God.
God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> it's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Sorry for the noises. There's a, um... Damn, like one great. of those. Since I live well, in downtown, get done. in Rochester, Plus, so there's one of those quick, like. And I know make it. Weird, Boker. like uh. Born and raised. Flight if you're shows, gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie. If you get in a tight spot, hopefully you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. It and is you, kind of going with the What's game, your name? Though, it's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I mean, Kenny's honestly already a better leader than... How old this newspaper? Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. I don't know shit about this, bruh. Nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I'm gonna talk to Corkboard at Easter Egg Hunt Motel, the IT IT guy. I don't know if Doug will. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Um. Oh, shit. Is that Lee's family? Cause I think I, I'm pretty sure I remember that. I'm pretty sure like Lee's family owns this pharmacy. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Oh wow. Okay. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hun. I don't remember them very well. He must have left at an early age. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. 
But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice and killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Wow, the awkward silence there. <gasps> and a candy bar. Fuck you. Um, where's climbing time? Oh, another energy bar. Um, um, um. Let me talk to her first. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, so his name is I think Glenn. so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so, uh... Being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Another energy bar. Gimme, 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 gimme. It's not damaged. And this place didn't get looted. The pills are in there. Okay. Let me talk to her. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. <laughs> was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good.
find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. So, Lee killed a state senator for sleeping with the husband, just because he slept with his wife. Oh, it's his dad's What's cane. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you really had. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. Soccer's right, kind of boring in my opinion. <sighs> Still do watch it from time to time though. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. find you a bandage. Perfect. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. It's probably in the drawer. Yeah, there it is. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Lee? 
Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it just does the same thing. Let's get this cut covered up. Oh, I thought that was yes, please. Part for some reason. to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. I don't think there is anything else that, that's really in here. We searched for this first... Is there anything else in the first aid kit that we can take? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Looked at the TV. Can't look at the drawers. Let's just head out. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? I'm gonna be honest with her. I mean, honesty is probably like the best case we got here. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? In a way. He was. Yeah, let me give her a candy bar. It's button. not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. I'll give one to Kenny. We just... It's not much, but here. For the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Hey there. Hey, uh, this is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Alright guys, so I'm actually gonna take a break right here. Um, as always, thank you for watching the videos. It really means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.